I'm Bob Javinus, world's greatest Jack Labrador player, and I'm going to teach you how to play Jack Labrador Spell My Name. The object of Spell My Name is to beat opponents in bouts of one time Jack Labrador to win cards and collect a set of five that spell Jack Labrador. That's J-A-C-K Labrador. Let's take a look at the deck. 32 total playing cards plus the Jack Labrador infographic card. We've got 25 regular playing cards. They got letters, they got symbols, they got numbers. Then we've got five cards of purity. You just got the letters and then a, the Jack Labrador dog and a shield. And then we have two pretty cards. The Nifty Bison is a steal or an extra turn card. And the Bolt card is a wild card. It can be a J-A-C-K or Labrador. And now we've got required knowledge. That's Jack Labrador. Jack beats Rock, Paper, Scissors. Rock, Paper, Scissors beat Labrador. And Labrador beats Jack. All right. I say we start playing the game. Players pick a dealer. And the turn to deal alternates if there are two players and rotates clockwise if there are more than two. The dealer grabs the deck, shuffles the cards, and places the deck in the middle of the table face down. This is the draw pile. The dealer then turns over the top card and places it face up next to the draw pile to create the discard pile. It is important to note that there must be at least one card face up in the discard pile at all times during the game. So turn over the top card of the draw pile during play when needed to create a new discard pile. And if the draw pile runs out of cards, the dealer shuffles all the cards in the discard pile and creates a new draw and discard pile. And the game continues. All right, here's how we start the game. The dealer takes the one-time infographic card and places it in front of them and is now the first challenger. This is a fast-paced game. It is critical to use the infographic card in order to keep track of who the challenger is. So make sure to pass it to the player on the left before each new turn. Failure to do so will result in a mess. And Bob doesn't like messes. Okay, here's how you win cards. Each challenger is going to select an opponent of choice and play one time Jack Labrador. The winner of that challenge then collects a card from either the draw or discard pile. Their choice. Now, there are two potential outcomes once the challenge is over. One, if the challenger wins, they collect their card of choice and their turn continues. If the challenger loses, their opponent collects a card of choice. The challenger's turn is over, they pass the infographic card to the player on the left, and a new challenger begins their turn. And the game continues! Here's how you win a hand. You collect five cards that spell Jack Labrador. That's J-A-C-K Labrador. Say it with me now, Jack Labrador. You can use any combination of regular cards, cards of purity, or the bolt card to spell Jack Labrador. Now, if you spell Jack Labrador using only the cards of purity, you have created the hand of oneness. This hand automatically wins the game. So whether you're playing to 100 points or first person to win three hands, the hand of oneness wins the game automatically. Very rare, but it's very special. You're gonna feel amazing when you do it. Let's talk about collecting a fifth card in your hand. The maximum number of cards a player may hold in their hand is four. So once you've got four cards in your hand and you draw or steal a fifth card, there's gonna be two possible outcomes. You either, one, spell Jack Labrador, or two, you don't spell Jack Labrador. If you spell Jack Labrador, you throw your cards on the table and say, I am Jack Labrador. And if you don't spell Jack Labrador, you discard one of your five cards, and the game continues. All right, Bob's going to talk about the uh, pretty cards right now. We got the Nifty Bison card, and the Nifty Bison card has two special powers. It's either a steal card or an extra turn card. Now, a challenger may choose only one of them during play. 
Got it? Also, the Nifty Bison card can only be played one time per hand. Once it is played, it is removed from the deck until the next hand is dealt. Here's how you play the Nifty Bison card. You're the challenger. You can use the Nifty Bison card at the beginning of your turn, during your turn, or after you have lost a challenge, but before the next player starts their turn as a challenger. So to play the Nifty Bison card, the challenger says out loud, the Nifty Bison rides and throws the card face up onto the center of the table. And the challenger then selects a card from any opponent's hand and puts it into their own hand. Now, if you want to use it as an extra turn card, you grab your Nifty Bison card and you say out loud, the Nifty Bison rides and you throw the card face up onto the center of the table. And then the challenger selects an opponent of choice and their turn continues until they lose a challenge. That's the, that's the Nifty Bison card. Now let's talk about the Bolt card. It's got one special power. It's a wild card. It could be a J, an A, a C, a K, or a Labrador to win the hand. Now, if you combine a Bolt card with four cards of purity to spell Jack Labrador, you win the hand, but it is not a hand of oneness. Also, the Bolt card cannot be used as a Nifty Bison card. Got it? Good. Here's how you win the game. It's called the Player Agreement. Before the game begins, players must agree on one of the following two ways to win the game. Option one, first player to spell Jack Labrador three times or complete the hand of oneness. Option two, first player to score 100 points or more or complete the hand of oneness. The hand of oneness is an automatic game winner, right? Regardless of which option you choose, you get the hand of oneness, you win. All right, let's show you how to score a 100-point game. When a player wins the hand successfully by spelling Jack Labrador, they get 10 points for winning the hand, they get all the points shown on their cards, and all the points shown on their opponent's cards. And then the winner of the hand adds that total to their cumulative score. First player to 100 wins. Boom. That spell my name. I'm Bob Javanis, world's greatest Jack Labrador player. Train hard. Play often. Door.